A uh, fellow showed me uh, how to set the timing on these 180 diesel pumps. It's probably the same for the 190 diesel pumps. Um, take a look here. It's, it's kind of hard to see with the camera, but there's a score line here. There's a score line right here. And there's a score line right here. So you line those three up, and it's supposed to be timed if this has never been altered, if this has never been moved by the factory. It might fit only in one orientation, I don't know, but that'd be my guess. So this is how the interior looks. You can see where those, how the bottoms are oriented. I've been told you, you never want to move these adjustments. Don't move them, other than to lift them up to spray. Don't adjust them like a adjustment for a tappet on a motorcycle. Um, a valve adjustment, yeah. So don't adjust those. But that's supposed to be how you adjust it. And then um, look for those three marks. And uh, like I said, if this is if this has never been monkeyed with, then that's where that setting is. But line those three score marks, and uh, they're hard to see, but there they are. And I'm using this one because this moves all the way forward, all the way back, and these other ones are jammed. And uh, here's a 180D. Oh God, you can't even see anything. I don't know if I got the flashlight. Oh shit. Oh, here's one. Okay. Can you see that little arrow down there? That arrow there will point to a mark on there. That's supposed to be 26 degrees. You really have to look for it. It's not easy. But that arrow points to a mark 10, 20, 30, 40, and then position that to what looks like 26 degrees. And then the engine's timed for that oil pump or a diesel pump. I don't know if I'm going to win this today, but um, I'll see if I can do it. And then you just rotate the whole thing by rotating it off the uh, the propeller. But you can see that, that, that's that pointy deal right there. That guy has to point to a, uh, a number on there, 26. So you gotta guess where that is. Just maybe this will run. So that's that's it man looks like the battery's dying on this one again um, that is it that's supposed to work so hopefully it does this has been a, a just a major headache because there's nothing on the internet I just got on that Facebook forum and I uh, just kept asking and a guy gave me a phone number for a guy a guy called me up and vice versa and gave me the instructions on how to do it um, yeah so we shall see but uh, I'm thinking the, the diaphragms in these are what uh, get filled up with crap so that it doesn't move back and forth. That'd be the only thing I can think of. Um, I'm not sure how to get that diaphragm off without damaging it. Um, yeah, so there it is. We'll see you on the next YouTube.